Hello again and welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, as you saw in the title, I'm going to be going over the Roca ELO 7.1 gaming headset. It's just came. I haven't had a massive amount of time to stress test it, but I will be doing some tests, showing you about it, what it comes with, whether it's worth the price, a few bits and pieces that I've noticed on first impressions. If you do enjoy my content, have a look at my other videos. I do a bunch of gaming stuff reviews, tech reviews, and a whole host of other things. If you want to have a look around, Press the like button, click subscribe if the content is of interest to you. Roll the intro! Ha! <laughs> yeah! How bad was that? Did it swap hands? Anyway, here it is. Roca ELO 7.1 Air wireless surround sound RGB gaming headset. Stellar wireless, exceptional signal strength and long life battery power. We'll go through some of the features once I've got it open. So as with all my other purchases, like you might have seen some of my other videos now, if you've went and had a look, if not, go and have a look while pressing the subscribe button. I do a lot of looking for this stuff before I go and do it, so you don't have to. So I searched for every type of headset that existed, and obviously because you can see in my setup, I love RGB, everything about it. For me, it's just, it's a very childish thing, but I like to have everything lit up the colors at home. And this thing, I mean, recently I saw it come up that it has RGB in it, you can change it to the colors that you want, and the sound was relative good and the fancy headband and the fact it's black it goes with the setup everything about it just looked nice it is relatively new but it wasn't ridiculously expensive so I paid 90 quid for this directly off the Rockat website I'll leave a link for that down below so you can have a look at it maybe wait for Black Friday see if you can find a deal on it I don't know but yeah 90 quid took a couple of days to come but let's get it open and have a quick look at it so straight from the box I know this is a really uh, a really horrible complaint, but that plastic that it comes in, that's not very nice plastic. I know I'm being very pedantic, but I do like nice packaging and that is not the nicest packaging. We can get past it. So straight out of the box, we've got a little instruction booklet that actually has better plastic around it than the actual headset casing. You get the little wireless dongle. I've never had a wireless headset before, so I don't know. We'll see how that goes. You've got the microphone, which is detachable. Also a nice little thing. So whether I'm going to be using my little Rode NT USB mic or this one is to be determined. It's quite a sturdy little thing. So this looks like a small jack input. And we have a really long USB cable for it. I think that's probably the charging cable or you can have it in, I guess, but it looks really long. And ripping from the horrendous plastic is the nice headset. I never want to touch you again. So just opening it, I mean, it's nice. It's good. I'll move these little cellophane covers. So first impressions, it's, it's not ridiculously weighty. I wouldn't say it's really light. It is all plastic, it seems, apart from this top metal band across the top. It's got this nice little stretchy foam headband at the top, which looks like memory foam, I think. Yeah, and uh, the nice rock out logo across the top. It's a nice looking headset. It looks looks really nice. I'm excited to get the RGB up on it, but you've got the rock out logo on this side and you've got the rock out on the other side, ELO here. And you've got these kind of braided wires that go across the top to link the two together. It's a good quality wire. It doesn't feel like it's got any kind of play in it like some headsets do have. Got all your buttons down the side. You've got one for volume up, down, microphone level up, down, a mute button, power button and your charger the little power light there it looks like. So yeah, at first glance it's nice. I, I, I do can see that it's got these kind of foam pads on it which, eh, I don't know. They seem, we'll see how it goes, see if they're too warm and sticky but sometimes they can get a bit sweaty in that. So I would have liked to have seen probably the memory foam stuff at the top on the pads as well to get a bit of breathability. But I can deal with it. I just need to figure out what way it goes on. Is it J? Ah, the right and left there. Okay, so here's what it looks like. I don't know if I'm shouting. Oh, it's extremely comfortable. I'm not even making it up. I'm not biased against this because I'm not paid or anything by them, but that is a comfy headset. And they weren't lying when they said noise cancelling. Is it supposed to be noise cancelling? So that's what that looks like. And then there's a little port for the microphone here. It's not too bulky. It's quite nice. Microphone's in a nice place and it's got the ability to put it up and down to get it away from the feedback, so that's nice enough. Cool. So now I'm just gonna go away. I'm gonna do a little bit of a sound test, test out what the audio sounds like, give you some feedback on it. I'll do a small recording as well on the microphone to see what you think of it. But first impressions on it, I like it. I'm feeling it. 90 quid worth? Mm, not sold yet. Maybe when I see it light up, I will be. Let's go listen. Wonder if it comes with battery out of the box. Oh, oh, you have power. Oh, the RGB is nice. Yeah, both sides light up. I know it's stupid because you think I can't even see it, but when I have a head headphone stand for it, you will see it. 
I'll listen to some copyright free epidemic sound music and therefore I can put it onto the video so you can listen along with me. That went well, apart from the fact that I crashed my fucking computer. I'm gonna blame my computer for that and not the headset. So I'll be it! What? That's blisteringly loud. It sounds extremely good. For music, anyway, for a start, which is extremely surprising considering it's a gaming headset, but, you know, it's got the surround sound in it. It is very boomy, very bassy. There is software that you can use to mess with it. I'm going to leave it as is just now because I want to give it a, you know, a chance to perform the way that it was supposed to perform. But, as far as comfort goes, it is nice. I'm just, in fact, I'm just going to play a bit of Call of Duty, a bit of multiplayer see what the sound's like, uh, and then I go onto the microphone. Played a few matches with these, and I have to say that the sound quality in-game is ridiculous. So I've been playing on a couple of uh, Sony WH-1500, 1000, I can't remember what they're called. Um, they're quite an expensive pair of headphones, and obviously they're not designed for gaming, but with these, it's just like they're designed to hear footsteps, to hear gunshots, explosions sound absolutely mental. But nah, what a pick, this sound crazy. I, like I say, I, I will mess about with some of the settings and see if I can get a little EQ to do a little bit more, but it's got a lot of bass to it. Sometimes maybe too much, I guess, but I can turn it down on an EQ. The highs are nice. In music, again, it sounds nice, but in game, pff, solid, solid headset. First impressions, I'm extremely happy with having bought this. I'll do a small microphone test for you now. Okay, so this is me now talking through the headset after a frustrating little update of you need to download Rockat Swarm because it was so quiet that the mic sensitivity needed pumped up, which is fine, but then I needed to update the software in the headset when it is brand new. You would think it would have just came. Never mind. Anyway, you can see for yourself. So the audio previously was coming from my Rode VideoMic Pro on top of the camera, and this one is now coming from the headset microphone itself. It is quite nice. Um, it moves around as much as you need it to. I don't know how much it's picking up, but you can decide for yourself what the audio quality is like. I have listened to it back a couple of times. It's all right, it, there's nothing to write home about. I'll still be using my Rode NT-USB. I'm not gonna go into detail. It does let you change a lot of the voices and a lot of the sound coming through the headset. But yep, yeah, anyway, this is it. So all in all, am I blown away by it? By the sound and the comfort level? Absolutely. By the app, I seem to have a problem with apps. I did uh, the one for this keyboard and it was all in some type of Asian language. You can watch that here. And I, I hate the app and this app, this app's much better, but yeah, no, I as far as comfort and how cool it looks because it's got the RGB which you can change customizable to whatever color you want basically the reason I bought it yeah I won't be using a microphone I mean if you think it's quite good it might be it's decent it's just not not compared to this standalone microphone which I will keep on using but comfort very high on the list durability looks like it's going to be pretty decent loved it on warzone it was a next level sound uh, that 7.1 surround sound really makes a difference so all in all goodbye i'll leave the link to it down below if you do fancy buying it and well you're here you might as well go and have a look at my other videos like i say i do tech reviews and a bunch of other comedy video stuff so feel free to have a look around press the subscribe button click the like share do whatever you need to do any questions leave a comment and i'll be sure to get back to you until the next one i'll see you later